people come from. But I do like to tell people there's a difference between our flexibility and mobility. And I'll, I can explain that real quick for people. Um, flexibility is your, it's your passive range of motion. It's like a stretch or how far I can move your joint to a range of motion. Your mobility is the active component, the strength, the control component, how well you can move. So we get people to go, man, I want to get more mobility in my shoulders. So it's going to hang out and stretch their pecs in the front of their shoulder for 20 minutes a day. Well, that's passive. You, you gain more passive motion. You have not built any control or strength there. So you have to define what that is. And that's why I try to show people, if you want to get a better back squat, if you just stretch your hips all day, sure, they're more flexible, but are they more mobile? Can you use that? Do you get stronger there? Most likely not. I'll, like even my yoga people, they're very flexible. When you talk about mobility, they can't lift their foot off the ground and, uh, you know, a lift off to save their life because they're not strong there. So when I make those posts, it's, it does get people heated. Um, and I understand why, because I think it's a very big misconception with those two terms. They get really just thrown out. However, um, but I, I found that really quick. That was a, a little hidden gem that I can post to really uh, stir some people up. Well, it's, it's different. You kind of made it your own. And um, when you find something like that, my, my social media uh, content manager, she would call that one of your pillars of your yes. content that you create. Uh -huh. And you said a couple of things there I want to um, address. You know how many times I have, because one of my things, one of my pillars is that I give bodybuilding some shit. Like I oh, say yeah. that, you know, if, if you're going to be a golfer, bodybuilding is just absolutely not the optimal way to train in the gym period and i think we've kind of discussed that here a second ago mm -hmm. but what i get a lot of the times is people will just say well add in some yoga and you just kind of debunked that and was like well shit here's these people that just do yoga mm -hmm. and they don't have any mobility right <laughs> so i think it, people well people look at me and go how much do you stretch i hardly stretch i think stretching has very few reasons outside of its ability to help you relax, put your phone down and just get in a meditative kind of position and breath work. I think it's great for people who need maybe some post-surgery stuff or looking at some scar tissue things, just time under tension. Awesome. If you want to get more mobile, you probably don't need to stretch. You only have so much, you know, we can go in the whole science of stretching, but there's a time and place for it. I don't think it's nearly as much what people want. They go, yeah, I'm just going to do yoga and stretch and I'll, I'll be fine, but I'll still go bodybuild. So they're training the same range of motion over and over and over and over and over it's the same you don't see like go look at professional baseball players the best pitchers in the world are they bodybuilding every day nope how much are they even lifting weights in the sense of for tons of volume of hypertrophy work not as much as we think you, you yeah. look at offensive line in the nfl they're doing a lot of strength work are they going in there and just hammering curls and shoulder presses till their arms fall off no so yeah. why do we all of a sudden now take golf which is a sport and say, well, this is just different. I'm just going to do training like this. So mm -hmm. yeah, you nailed that. I, I don't think bodybuilding is great for a certain thing. If you want to put more mass in, or if you want to just, it's a low hanging fruit for people to start exercise. Cause it's super easy. Go in, pick up weights, do it till you're really tired, put it down. If you have mm -hmm. no idea what you're doing in the gym. Awesome. But if you're training for a sport, it's not it.